What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. I wanted to uh, talk a little bit today about what's up with religion. Religion. That's the one that nobody ever touches on. And uh, I want to talk to you guys, but more importantly, I want to hear from you guys about what you think about religion. I, I, I'm having a debate right now, online, <laughs> through the comment section with, uh, with a, a gentleman who is very adamant that his religion is the, the religion. Uh, and that if you don't join his religion, then uh, you will be spending eternity in fire. And uh, I've been hearing a lot of this my, my entire life. Um, this religion I'm talking about is Christianity. Um, Christianity is, is a great religion. I think that, uh, you know, as far as people go, out here in the West, uh, Christianity is the dominant religion. It's something that we are really born into. It's a religion I was born into. Um, and uh, it has a lot of good points. Um, but as I got older and my mom and dad started going through their, their separation and things like that, I was exposed to other types of religion. I was briefly exposed to Islam and I learned quite a bit about that. And I, I, I can draw a lot of parallels between the two religions as far as the rules and regulations, as far as the way you treat people and uh, the overall feeling of being a part of that I call it an organization now because I'm old enough to see them for what they really are. Um, it's just amazing to me that people, human beings, will tell you that if you don't join their religion, you will spend an eternity in fire and not see that that's a, a scare tactic. I think it really is. I think that uh, people around the world, you're going to find good people in every religion. You're going to find monks in every religion you will find people of God in every single religion no matter what uh, you can find great people over in Pakistan who worship Allah who are good people who will give you the shirt off their back who will do everything they can to be a good person and 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 you'll find people here in America who are Christians who if they saw you on the side of the road they'd pull over and pick you up and take you home and, give you clean you up and feed you until you were you know okay and those are good people and they worship in Christianity you will find people in China who worship Buddha who do the same thing you will find people you know everywhere around the world who worship different gods and they are good people but the the other side of that coin is you will find people in every religion who are bad people you'll find Christians who go to church on Sunday just so they can be a devil for the rest of the week. Because in, in the Christian world, you go to church on Sunday to wash yourselves of all your sins. So once your sins are washed off, as soon as you hit the sidewalk, your horns pop back on, and you're a devil for the rest of the week. You will find people in Islam who believe that, you know, um, persecuting women or, 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 or killing themselves for a religious cause or, or just mistreating people in general is okay, but they still worship their God. So there's goods and bads to religion. But I have my own thoughts on religion, and I'm going to share them with you guys now. And I'd really like for you guys to weigh in and let me know what you think about religion or you think about my idea of what religion is. To me, religion is a way of control. I think that religion is a way to keep us against one another as people. I think that religion, no matter what, will keep the people of the planet hating each other because we, we worship God in different ways. We call him different names, which really pisses people off. <laughs> if you call God a name that a person's belief system does not accept, you are the enemy. Instead of understanding that if they were born where you were born, they would be calling God the same thing that you do. There's only one God. That's my belief system. And uh, the fact of the matter is, there's tons of people on the earth and we all have been given different, slightly different religions that call him a different name. And so since we call him a different name, we have our, our own faith, which is the, the cornerstone of religion. A person calls God what they call God because of their faith. That's an important part of religion. And so another person will call God a different name because of their faith. And that's when the hate begins. You're standing on one side of the lake, you look across, you see a, a, a brown man who calls God a different name and you hate him for it. It just amazes me that people get so caught up in it. And the arrogance of it. You know, 
you'll find, you know, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and if you don't know now, you'll find out. Explain that to a person who's never exposed to Jesus Christ. Or ex explain that to a person who's never exposed to Allah. I have Muslim friends. I have Christian friends. I love them all. I love all you guys. I'm a very loving person. Um, and, and it just amazes me that people get that arrogant. If a person is raised in a different part of the world is never exposed to Christianity, are you going to tell me that they're really going to hell? Is that what love is? Is that what compassion is? No. If We are all pretty much programmed from birth on what our religion is going to be. We take our children to church without them saying whether or not they want to go. It's not what we do. If you believe in your God and you want to spend your Sunday at church, you don't ask your three-year-old, does he want to go or does she want to go? You don't ask your five-year-old, does he or she want to go? No. You build a foundation on, on, on the principles of that religion and instill faith in that child that that religion is a true religion. And so we imprint religion on our children. The same child is being programmed to enjoy Islam could be programmed to enjoy or believe in Christianity. It's just a different place. You take them to a different place and you worship in a slightly different way. And, and that whole paradigm is what people don't really seem to understand. There was a boy, I don't remember exactly where I read this article, but it was all over the news a few years ago, a little African boy who uh, was raised with monkeys. They act, His mother, I guess, let him go in the woods, and he went out there, and, and the monkeys raised this boy as one of their family members. And uh, a woman was walking through the trail in her village, and she saw this little, little black boy standing up. He was up in a tree holding onto a, a branch, standing there looking at her. And she freaked out because he looked at her, and he freaked out, and he swung away like a monkey, got out of there. So she went and got, you know, some of the leaders of the village and, and some of the men, and they ended up capturing this boy. And he was a wild animal. He was a wild monkey. And he acted like a monkey. He didn't understand their language. He didn't understand anything. And it took them, I think in the, the actual documentary, uh, the boy was 17 or 18 uh, by the time the documentary was being made. And he was learning their language. He, was, he, he could understand it at that point. He could speak it. But he was learning their language, he was learning how to interact, and it took him years. I think he was about eight years old when they found him, seven or eight, so he lived in the wild. He was never exposed to religion, but probably on some level may have believed in a god, who knows. But even so, even if he was never exposed to religion, are you telling me that any of these gods would look down upon him and see him as someone who did something wrong because he didn't fall into the right religion? I think religion keeps us all separated. I think that we all worship a very similar God, but we all call him something different. I think that whatever name our parents taught us to call God is the name that we call him. And we carry on the faith that they had. But there's a difference between faith and arrogance. I do not want to be arrogant enough to say that the God that my parents told me, that's his name because they're only regurgitating information that someone gave them. If we look at the facts of the matter here, the first language on the planet Earth was Hebrew, followed closely by Arabic. And what religion is in Arabic? Islam. So I'm not an arrogant person. I don't want to be arrogant about religion. I don't want to be arrogant about who God is. I'm just a human being and I'm only able to regurgitate information that I, I absorb in my very short lifespan. My lifespan is very short. All of our lifespan is short. We don't know everything, and we cannot pretend to know everything. And that's why I call my God the divine, because that's something that I know. And if you're an atheist, this video ain't for you. <laughs> but I call, I call God the divine because of course, I grew up, my grandmother was a pastor in a Christian church, and, and, and 
I heard Jesus Christ more than any any other name in the house. She was always over talking to us. And I respect it and I love her for it. I think she was a beautiful, beautiful woman. She passed away three years ago. And uh, I learned a lot about Christianity. I went to River of Life Church in Ohio and, and I had a great time, met a lot of great people. Pastor's daughters were freaks, but you know, that's normally how that goes. And uh, Christianity, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about God. I learned a lot about humility. And I learned a lot about taking money from people. And so that left a sour taste in my mouth. Watching these pimps, which is the only way I can describe them, come into church and swindle these grandmothers. And, and that honestly pissed me off. Islam is a religion that I learned a lot about. And I met a lot of good people. But in that religion, women are treated unfairly and that thing kind of irritated me and so I, I saw goods and bads in both and so I worship God that's what I do I worship the divine and, and, and I try to be good to people I don't want to follow uh, laws written by man I want to follow nature to treat my mate and to treat people kindly and with respect to do for people the best that I can without taking away from my family and I think if you follow that simple code there, you're doing all right. I don't think that, you know, there are any rules and stipulations in the real world that would affect a person on that level. And I don't think that it's uh, condu conducive to your process to tell people, hey, look, if you don't do what I'm doing, you're going to go to hell. That is not how you bring a religion to someone. It's not how you bring enlightenment to someone. It's by scare tactics. You know, and I don't know what tactic they use in Islam because Islam has been slandered so much today. <laughs> and I'm talking about these two. These are two of the, the the big two religions in the world. But it's been destroyed and demonized so much that if people think about Islam now, you think about towers blowing up and people cutting off heads and and, and things like that. You think about very negatives and and. Western society is is really really good at make demonizing an entire religion based on what a handful of idiots do when there's been Christian religious violence for many many years I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me rambling on with what's up with religion if you guys enjoyed this video please support it by hitting that like button and if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and help this channel grow I'm the beastly gamer God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Enough of dark places, far out of our reach. We must continue.